Hey guys, what's up, Abomination9 here, back playing some more Monster Hunter Online. We left off, we had hunted a Australian, uh, and now we're going to be fighting a Akura Vashimu, uh, apparently a monster that originated from the, uh, the Frontier? Yeah, the Frontier series, the other PC Monster Hunter game that's only in Japan. I thought he came from this game since I've never fought him before, but apparently he's from the Frontier series. Uh, so yeah. This should probably be pretty cool. I'm assuming this is him. Because he's a, he looks like the scorpion with the crystals on him. Uh, and he was in the benchmark for the game. There's a benchmark somewhere uh, on, the ca on a Capcom site somewhere uh, for this game in both English and whatever language, I guess, which is weird. Since they aren't going to release it anywhere else, yet they made it in English. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's just go kill this guy. I, I Hopefully he's pretty cool, because I, I wanted to fight, like, arachnids and bugs and whatever in the game for a while. And, uh, I don't know. Though, the whole crystal thing kind of is eh to me. Like, I feel like if he was just a normal scorpion and not a crystal scorpion, I would like him more. Kinda looked like we were laying down there for a second. I was like, that looks weird. That we were, like, prone. Oh, where are we on this airship? Are we looking for that... Uh, giant sea whale or something? Not sea whale, uh, sand whale. And no, I'm not talking about Jin Mohoran. Okay, this is super quiet. It's just sound effects. Where's the music? Okay, there we go. There's the ambient noise as well. Like, where the heck did it go? Th that was weird. Okay, so he was out in the middle of the desert, correct? So, I guess that's where we need to go. I guess I should probably eat this stuff, too. So, I think I need to go to 2 and then 6. And from 6, I should be able to get to 9. There's usually, uh, those, like, I don't know their name, but a herbivore, an aggressive herbivore in here. Though, I've seen them in here that I guess they don't necessarily have to be in there. I just know that they spawn there sometimes. So this is where he was, right? Yeah, okay, he is in here. Okay, is he just... Just gonna stay there? Okay, so I thought this was pretty cool when I first saw this, because there's a mission where you just see his tail for like a few seconds and then he leaves. And then that's the end of the mission. So, I thought he might have been like, um... Like some kind of plant or something. Okay, that's a bad sign that my blue weapon bounced off of him. Oh, luckily I was able to... So I don't know where I can really hit. I can only really hit him in the legs, it appears, because of him being too hard. Like he is the Crystal Scorpion. I have yet to see uh, a weapon that I can put a white sharpness on. Even upgrading these blue weapons, they still only have blue on them, so... It kind of just seems like I'm stuck with blue for a while now. Oh, I didn't... Expect that. I've never fought this guy, I've never seen him before. Like I said, he's from the Frontier series, which I have no knowledge of, since uh, they refuse to bring that out of Japan. And uh, I think you're not allowed to go there if you're from another country. So I'm pretty sure you can get banned for speaking English in Frontier, so. I just somewhat stayed away from it. What the heck? 
So are we actually fighting him or are we repelling him? That's a question. It'd be nice if we're actually fighting him. What is he doing? Okay, put a bomb. Is that a bomb or something? I'm worried about that, guys. I mean, I can't move. Oh, now his tail can shoot lasers? I don't know what the heck was up with that. Oh, I guess he wanted to put his tail in position to hit them. Also, I'm hero rank now, or hunter rank, whatever. Though, uh, I haven't really fought anything that's, I would assume, is hunter rank status. Hunter rank, high rank. As far as I know, I haven't fought anything that's hunter rank. The heck? Oh, do we're doing this again. So there's, that just hit like in a huge area or what? I don't know what he was doing there to the ground. Because the ground just was, was going black. I didn't understand. So I would assume you can break his crystals, but you just need like a weapon hard enough to do it. Uh, I was trying to get a potion. There we go. Also, I've upgraded the torso of this armor with, uh, I don't know, I'm assuming... What are they called? Armor stones? I'm assuming that's what that was. So, my chest is, like, super strong. I think it has, like, 23, 25 defense on it. And my armor by itself originally only had around like 20 or 30. Oh crud, why'd I do that? I let go down my guard for a second. So I pretty much doubled my defense by upgrading just the chest. Okay, so he's putting his hands into the ground uh, to anchor himself whilst doing the laser. Oh, I thought he was going to leave. Surprised he hasn't fallen down yet with how many times I've hit him in the blade. Though I guess he is a arachnid and has multiple legs. Don't they have more legs than that? Isn't he just a regular bug? At this point? Oh my wow, green can't even deal with his legs. Okay, let's look at that again. Let's see if we can actually hit him in the leg. I think that was just him knocking me down. Okay, yeah, green. Wow, you need to be blue 24-7 with this guy. That's that sucks. I don't know, he's pretty cool, but I just wish he looked more like a normal scorpion. We seem to be taking our sweet time. I don't know if he's even gotten mad yet. Oh, I guess I counted as a back hit. Yeah, I figured he was jumping. Like, literally, all I could hit is his legs. And that's only until my blue sharpness uh, goes away. Or until. Whatever. So I guess this guy's going to be a tough cookie to fight. Or at least kill if all I can hit is his legs. I need to know when I'm going to get white sharpness. And maybe even purple. Probably should use a bow. I guess a bow would be fine, though. I think the arrows would just ping off.
maybe like his underbelly is weak as well. I would assume it is. Okay, let's try to get like a definitive underbelly shot. Okay, that hit, I think. That completely missed. Okay, now I'm bouncing off. Okay, let me... Because he's going to blow that. It didn't blow. Okay, so the laser doesn't activate the rock. It just activates after a certain amount of time. No, even hitting, hitting him underneath doesn't count either. Okay, he's going to do that a couple more times. So it's only leg shots. That that's ridiculous. I have not run into anyone that I can only hit in the legs. Like even like Bizarios, I could hit certain areas. And I guess if I had a great sword, maybe I could power through some of his armor. Like it would ping off, but it would still go through. I wouldn't have to deal with the bouncing. Though you'd assume a lance or something with a fine point would be nice for armor piercing. I'm gonna have to use my special in a second. Okay, there we go. I had to start blocking for like five hours. Okay, I need to wait until uh, like I get it. A decent... Get, I think... Oh, well, luckily I didn't use it there. Okay, good. That was a good shot. Made him... flinch for like a second. Looks like he's actually mad now, really? It's been like six years. And my sharpness is down. Let's see how far that goes. I'm gonna... Leave my guard down. Like, will it hit me over here, or is it just, like, a set range? It looked like it popped, and it didn't hit me, so... I guess it seems like it has a big range, but just, like, it's not, like, astronomical. I could not fight this guy in a... What should you call it? The actual real hunts? Like, it's taking me forever to kill him in story. But can I actually hit the tail now? That's a tail shot. Oh my god, what the heck? Wasn't able to hit it before. So since he hasn't left yet, I'm assuming the entire fight's going to take place here. Cool drink's worn off. So if the crystals can't be broken on him, I'm going to assume that you can't break the tail. There's always something you can break, so the tail can be cut off since it seems to be able to be hit now. Though I don't know if I can break it with a lance or cut it off with a lance. Will that pop already? So I can move on. There we go. See, they both got hit and they were eh, ways away. Oh crud, I wanted to jump over it. I got crystallized for a minute. Whatever that means, I got crystal blight. Do I take more damage or something?
sounds like they're bouncing off too sometimes. It's not good that they're bouncing off. And I know uh, at least Chi Chi has blue sharpness because I have that weapon. And he's using an Ian weapon, so that has to be pretty sharp as well since we haven't even been allowed to fight Ian straight up yet. I can't tell if we're winning or not, simply because all I can hit is the legs. It doesn't really feel like I'm doing much damage. He's jumping up. This might be, like, might come down to the wire. I mean, we're only 15 minutes in, yeah, but still. I mean, I have one potion left. One free potion left. And it doesn't really seem like we're doing anything. This weapon does, like, 101, I think. Its damage is 101 with blue. Sharpness. Oh, wow, never mind, we just killed it. Was not expected. Nah, I was just talking about how I didn't think we were gonna win, and then, shh, then we kill it. I don't know. That guy's pretty cool. I guess. I mean, I would have preferred it if he was a real scorpion, but I guess giving him the crystals gives him a gimmick. Is there actually nothing here to farm? It doesn't look like there's anything here to farm. What the heck? Really? Well, that's lame. Unless I'm just blind. I'd assume there would be things around the sides. I guess nothing spawned here this time around. Whatever. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode, like, subscribe, comment, you need to do. See ya.